Lord. We worship you, Lord. We 
I'm gonna praise him now. Lift your voice and say, I don't have to wait. I don't have to wait till I see it. Uh, I'm gonna praise him right now.
I'm going to praise him now. One more time to say, I don't have to wait. Oh, I'm going to praise him right now. Lift your voice to say, I don't have to wait. Uh, I'm going to praise him now. I got to call it in right here. My miracle is on the way. is good so glad that you're here come on let's put our hands together so glad that you're in the house of the lord come on let's just applaud the lord for his goodness in our lives the lord has been good to you stretch your elbow all the way up and let's pray together father thank you for the anointing of the holy ghost thank you for your goodness and all your mercy thank you for your blessings in our lives thank you for your sustaining power you have sustained us all year long and we just come to say thank you we just come to say bless you we just come to worship you on this day in jesus name we pray the blood somebody help me say the blood the blood of jesus we take authority over every demonic force the blood somebody shout the blood the blood of jesus over our lives today in jesus name we pray somebody say amen Give the Lord a hand clap for his goodness. We want to ask all of our young people, if you're under the age of 25, 
come on down and let's just wor worship the Lord. We want to pray a blessing over your life. God is a good God. Come on, come on, send your kids if they're under the age of 25. I want to ask Minister Tracy if she'll come and lead us in prayer. What a great day it is to pray over our children. It's a great day it is to worship our, the Lord and the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords in our lives. Somebody say amen. God is a good God. Raise your hands up and let's pronounce the blessing. Everybody say, Lord, we speak over our children blessings say it again lord we speak over our children blessing favor and help in every area of their lives in jesus name we pray somebody say amen welcome minister tracy as she pray a blessing over our children hallelujah father god we just come before you today we're asking you today oh god look at all of our beautiful children oh god lord we're asking you to bless them we're asking you to guide them, oh God. We're asking you to keep them, oh God. We're asking you, oh God, to take care of our children, Father God. Lord, we know that you've, we've borrowed them, oh God. You've given us to them, oh God. Them to us, oh God, to take care of, oh God. Father, we pray for them, oh God, in the schools, oh God. We pray, Father God, that they go higher than they are today, Father God. They go further than they are today, Father God. We thank you, Lord, wherever they are, Father God, that you bless them, you protect them, oh God. Bless their parents, oh God. Lord, give us wisdom. Give us discernment, oh God, how to raise our children in 2024, oh God. Lord, we just thank you right now, Father God, that your children, your children, oh God, will be blessed, oh God. They're blessed in the city. They're blessed in the field. They're blessed wherever they go, oh God. Lord, we bring the blood of Jesus over our children, oh God, that they will go whatever grade, oh God. Lord, take them right now. They're doctors right now. They're geniuses, oh God. They're lawyers, oh God. They're pastors. They're preachers, oh God. Whatever, whatever, oh God, you put into their hearts, oh God, let them follow you, oh God. And Lord, you will lead them to their destiny. Children, you have great destinies ahead of you. If you just stay with the Lord, don't let anyone take you off the path that God has put you on. He has a great path for you. So, Father, we thank you for our children. And we give you praise and honor right now, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Everybody said amen. 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 Raise your hands all over the house and let's pronounce the blessing. Everybody say with me, say, Lord, we pronounce the blessing over our children. We speak over them. The blood, favor, help, supernatural strength. We speak over them. Your anointing, your blessing over their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say amen. Give the Lord a hand clap as we sing this song. Speak over yourself. God is a good God. He loves you. Somebody say amen. Yes. 
Come on and put your hands together. Favor, blessings, help, strength, God's anointing over your life. Somebody say, I am blessed. Give the Lord a hand clap for his goodness and all of his mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. You may be seated in the house of the Lord. God is a good God. Speak over yourself. Declare that everything is going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Somebody say it's going to be all right. Welcome, First Lady. She gave us the announcement. So glad that you're here. God is good. Well, good morning. Good morning. You look amazing today. So glad to see you in the house of the Lord. Do we have anyone who's here for the very first time? If you are a first time visitor, we ask you just to raise your hand very quickly. Our ushers have a packet that we would like to give to you. Just, yeah, give them a hand of welcome. We're so glad to have you. God bless you today. You are welcome. Take the card inside, fill it out, give it back to one of our ushers. We would like to greet you in a more personal way at a later date. Can we give them one more hand to thank God for them coming out today? God bless you. How you doing on the fast? The fast continues on. We are halfway marked. We have hit the halfway mark. Remember the Bible said, some things only come out by fasting and prayer. So whatever your this kind is, whether it's a this kind situation, whether it's a this kind person, put it underneath your fast and plead the blood of Jesus over every negative occurrence, over negative situations, over negative people that will try to disrupt your life, that will try to bring disunity and plead the blood of Jesus because God is about peace. God is about love. God is about unity. So we proclaim that over the entire body of believers that we will go forward in the power of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Well, God bless you today. Oh, we have an exciting event coming up. Sister Vanessa, stand up. She is having a homeowners conference. Is that her, Sister Vanessa? Stand up real quick. See her. It's going to be February 3rd. Get the details from her. So you want to get that wonderful information. Um, Minister Leticia got some exciting news to share with us. Good morning, good morning, church. Are y'all getting not eating no chicken, no steak, no shrimp? Say no to the devil. We are excited for our Pray More in 24, and I am excited to announce this year we are deploying a special events team. Now, let me tell you about the special events team. Now, you got a little preview of the special events team at Christmas. Those were the ones who said, hey, Minister Leticia, I cannot participate every week, but I can participate sometimes. And so we need to deploy that team again for our church anniversary in February. Amen. So we are looking for choir members. Yes, give it up for choir members. We are looking for dancers. We are looking for people who have the dramatic. If your friends say you feel a drama, we need you. We're gonna be doing some skits. Pastor's ready to get moving, right? We're ready to move the gospel forward. God's word says the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are what? View. We have enough in this room to move the gospel forward and do our assignment. So we need you. Minister Sharita, uh, she's one of our youth partners. Please see her after service to sign up for choir, dancers, actors, writers. We need you. We want to show out for our Christmas musical um, coming up in February as well as celebrate that Sunday. Love you. Bless you. Amen. Amen. What she didn't tell you is we have special guests flying all the way in from Detroit, Michigan. And they are psalmists and instrument players, so they're going to bring a wonderful word of God to you. So it's going to be an exciting weekend. You don't often get to celebrate 19 years of ministry. It is the goodness of the Lord that has sustained us through all the hills and valleys, and God has been good. So we want you to volunteer somewhere. I don't know where that where is. You know your where. This Saturday, the choir, give yourselves a hand. The amazing choir came together and rehearsed, but it's okay. If you missed that rehearsal, you can still jump in because we will be sharing the songs with you and the dates for the next rehearsals. So God bless you. We're so excited. We want to see every one of your faces on that night and on that weekend. Well, God bless you. Welcome our pastor, Pastor Alvin Simpkins. Well, God is good. So glad that you are here. Somebody say, I am blessed. 
you know don't take it lightly for any church to make it a few years is God's help somebody say help and for us to make it for 18 19 years is a real blessing somebody say amen and to, so just know and you've been here and the Lord has blessed your life and so you have to know God is good and I forgot ushers have cards if you want to join the choir please ushers would you pass those out and it just says anniversary choir on there and if you just raise your hand the usher will get that card to you here they are right there so sign up we will add your name to the announcement list we send it out by text we won't even bother you by email but we're going to send it out by text just to let you know when the next uh, choir rehearsals will be so raise your hand take a card if you haven't already many of you already filled it out but take one today if you haven't and we'll be a part of of our choir thank you so much god bless you god is good keep your hands raised so the ushers can get to you we want to make sure that everybody get involved somebody say amen and don't forget to bring somebody each one reach one it's the greatest weapon against the enemy uh, when we are trying to build god's house everybody has got to help somebody and everybody got to reach out somebody say reach out Thank you for sacrificing me and get up in the morning, 5.30 a.m. Got a great word that it's going to bless your life and just know everything is going to be all right. Somebody say it's going to be all right. You got to speak that over your life. You got to declare it over your finances. You got to declare it over every area of your life. Somebody say everything. Stretch your elbow up and let's declare it. Everybody say everything is going to be all right in my life. Thank you for all your help. So don't forget to bring somebody. God is a good God. He loves you. Turn around and tell the neighbor next to you, it's good to see you in the house of the Lord. And don't forget this year to give God thanks and praise for all his many blessings in your life. Stretch your elbow up and say, thank you, Lord. Oh, stretch your elbow up and just say, thank you, Lord. Stretch your elbow all the way up and say, thank you, Lord. Thank you that we made it. Thank you for another year. Thank you for all your blessings. Thank you for all your help. Somebody say thank you for all that you are in our lives. Never forget to tell God thank you for anything in your life. Somebody say amen. God is a good God. He loves you and everything is going to be all right. Somebody say amen. Let us all stand this morning. One, let's just stand for a minute and let's just thank the Lord that we're in his house. One more time and let's just thank the Lord for his uh, sustaining anointing that he kept our church for 18 19 years somebody say thank you lord somebody say thank you now we just give the lord a hand clap and just say thank you that we are still here he paid every bill he paid every bill he met every situation in our lives thank you thank you for all your help somebody say help god is a good god he loves you and everything is going to be all right all year long have a thankful heart have a grateful heart Appreciate all that God has done in your life. Don't take it for granted. The Lord has blessed you. The Lord has helped you. Somebody say thank you. And never forget, you know, as God protect our great nation, the Lord is with us. Somebody say amen. amen. And just stretch your elbow up one more time and just say, Lord, I just want to say thank you. Oh, say it again. Say, Lord, I just want to say thank you one more time say Lord I just want to say thank you for all your blessings in my life somebody say amen don't take it for granted you're not here by accident don't take it for granted it is God's blessing it is God's favor and it is God's help in our lives so never take it for granted you got a good job you ought to say thank you you have favor in your life you ought to say thank you you have food on your table you ought to say thank you you, ought, you have a choice to eat whatever you want you ought to say thank you don't let the devil forget to get you to forget to tell God what thank you thank you somebody say thank you Lord raise your hands one last time and say Lord thank you for all your help I am grateful in my life amen and amen as the choir sing thank you lord for all that you are in our lives thank you
the desire commonplace all kind of disease people are slipping away economy's down people don't have enough pay as for me all i can say is Living out in the streets And the drug habits Some say They just can't beat Muggers and robbers No place seem to be safe But you be my protection Every step of the way And I gotta say Yeah, yeah, yeah It's straight up in me
for me. Take your Bible this morning. God is a good God. So glad that you are here. Somebody say, I am, I am. blessed. Amen. Take your Bible this morning. Go to Ephesians chapter number five. Ephesians, thank you, choir. God is a good God. He loves you and everything is going to be all right. Somebody say it's going to be all right. Say it again. It's going to be all right. Ephesians chapter five. The word of the Lord is there. Verse number 14. If you have it, say amen. Amen. God is a good God. He loves you and everything is going to be all right. He died for you. The Bible said before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you, I knew you, I knew you. You are not an accident. You are not a mishap. The Lord is on your side. Somebody say, I'm blessed. Take your Bible, stand up with us. We're going to read a couple of verses and then we're going to get into the word of the Lord. Verse number 14, if you have it, say amen. amen. Ephesians 5, chapter 5, verse 14. Wherefore he said, awake thou that sleepeth and arise from the dead and Christ shall give thee light. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as what? Wise. Wise. Redeeming the time, because the days are what? Evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of God, of the Lord is. My goodness. We're going to focus on verse 16. Redeeming the time. Stretch your elbow all the way up and say, Lord... Thank you for time. Thank you that time will be on my side. Say it one more time. Say, Lord, thank you that time will be on my side. I am blessed. Say it again. I am blessed. In Jesus' name I pray. Somebody say amen. Bless you. You may be seated in the house of the Lord. So glad that you're here this morning. What a great day it is to be in the house of the Lord. This is the greatest time and the most valuable time that you will have all week long is when you spend it with the Lord. It's the best time. It's the most valuable time when you spend it with the Lord. You know, we have to know it's a new year and we have to honor the Lord that he allowed us to live one more year. Somebody say one more year. It's a new year that's upon us. And every year goes by. You are running out of time. And you have to thank God that he gave you another day to live. Somebody say thank you. A year is passing. A year is the passing of time in our lifetime and in our culture. And you have to know you must redefine, re-strategize, rethink, and look at where you are. And reposition yourself for where God want to take you for the next 12 months. And you have to know time is on your side because you are still here. You are still alive. And you have to know it's a new year and time starts over for us. And so we must maximize the time. The Bible says in Psalm 90 and 12, so teach us to number our days that we might apply our hearts to wisdom. Thank the Lord for another day. Thank the Lord for another year. Thank the Lord for all his blessings in our lives. You have to work on your purpose and your goals because God has given you what? Time. Somebody say time. Somebody say time. Do it now. Don't put it off. You are running out of time. And you have to maximize. And the Bible says that we are to redeem the time as we go through life. What is time? Time is the measurement of space with a beginning and an end. Time. Time is a limited period during which an action or a process all exist or take place. That is your life. Somebody say time. And therefore, don't put it off giving your life to the Lord. Do it now. Because tomorrow, as the old saying, is not what? Promise. Tomorrow is not promise. So we must make sure that we understand time is an, in an interruption in eternity. Time is a peace of eternity and we have to understand time must we have to ask the Lord every day Lord let time be on my side somebody said let time be on my side 
No man or woman can control time. God is the author. Or God is the, is the administrator of time. And if you have time, you ought to thank God for it, that he allowed you to live one more year. Somebody say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Say it again, I'm blessed. Genesis chapter 14 is the beginning of time. And it says, and God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let the, let them be for signs and for season, for days, for years. And then he said, he set time in place for you and I. God is outside of time. But we live in a dis dispensation of time. And we must maximize every moment that we have. Because your life and time is running out. So you have to do it now. Somebody say, do it now. Somebody say, do it now. The most common gift that God gave 8 billion people around the world is the gift of time. And so don't take it lightly. You have to celebrate. If you, are, if you have children, enjoy them because they'll grow up one day and leave. If you have a wife, enjoy her. If you have a man you know, in your life, ladies, celebrate him. I know he gets on your nerve. Every man gets on a lady's nerve. That's what we do. That's who we are. Do I have any ladies that will say amen? amen. Oh, I heard a lot on that one. Lord, that was, Lord, we get on your nerve, but just know we're in your life for a season. And then we'll be on our way to eternity. Somebody say, hell! God gave all of us on earth time. The beggar and the billionaire, he gave the same amount of time. It's what you do with the time that God has given you. Male or female. Red, yellow, brown, black or white. You have the same amount of time. You can't blame nobody for where you are. It's how you spent your time time is a currency and so we must spend time and we must spend it serving the lord somebody said let time be on my side you know we must maximize the time that god has given us it is the greatest gift that we have in life is time don't squander it don't waste it don't throw it away celebrate it the older you get the more valuable Time becomes in your life. Every day you wake up, you ought to say, thank you that I'm still here. When you're young, you don't even think about time. You don't think about time until somebody dies. But the older you get, the more you value the time. And the Bible said, the Lord said, I'll give you a long life and I'll bless you. Time is life. And no time, no life. And so we have to celebrate the time that God gives us. The time it is to see if you are still on course this new year. Are you still on course? Time for you to see if you're making the necessary adjustments in your life. God has given you time for you to see into your new future until tomorrow. He says, call unto me, I will answer you. And then I will what? Show you what? Great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Somebody say time. So we must not let time sneak away on us. I'll never forget I stood by the side of a bed of a man who was dying years ago. And I said, you always asked him in the final moments, what regrets do you have? And he said, the one regret is I didn't spend enough time with the Lord. Now where he was going, I don't know. I can't tell you where he went when he died. He died within 24 hours after our conversation. But his number one regret is that he didn't spend enough time with the Lord. You are here today. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to come by God's house and just to tell him thank you. Somebody say thank you. Somebody say thank you. If the Lord allowed you to live through the pandemic, you ought to say thank you. If the Lord allowed you to live through COVID, you ought to say thank you. God gave you time. If he gave you another year, you ought to say thank you. We are still here. Shut your elbow all up with me and everybody say, Lord, I am still here. A lot of people are gone, but you are still here. 
And so you got to have the, the authority in your life to declare that I'm still here by God's grace and by God's, by God's favor. And you have to know the old song say, I feel like going on. I feel like going on. Though trials and troubles and come and situations come, I feel like going on because the Lord is on our side. All of creation bow and yield to time. All of creation yields to time. God designed everything to run on time. If you live your life just living what, the way you want and don't spend time with God and don't give God time, you might have trouble at the gate. I don't know what's going to happen, but you might. But I made up my mind, I'm going to give the Lord time. Every day I'm going to wake up and say, Lord, I want to give you some time. Every day I wake up and I say, Lord, thank you for another day. Every day I wake up and say, Lord, I am blessed. Somebody say, I'm blessed. I have time. Winter, summer, spring, and fall all yields to God's design that we live by the cycle of time. Somebody say time. A baby is born from the time it's conceived for nine months. Time. Life is run by time. And we have to celebrate it. The season, the days, the weeks, the months, the years, the decades, the centuries, all run by time. And if you're not careful, time will get away from you. If you're not careful, time will sneak away from you. And that's why the Bible says we must redeem time. That we must capture time. That we must do, do all that we can to celebrate time. Nothing on the earth lives outside of time. God designed all of it to live in time. And then just know as we go through this season, as we come into a new year, we have to celebrate. And we have to thank God that we are living in this dispensation of time. And therefore, I'm going to maximize it. I'm going to get the job one. Done. Don't let somebody make you lazy. Don't let yourself make you lazy. Don't become self-destructive and put things off. You are running out of time. Elbow your neighbor and say, neighbor, you are running out of time. The planets move on God's time that he designed them. They don't run into each other, but they operate and they rotate on God's time. It's a big clock. And if you don't understand that, you can miss your destiny. If you don't understand your season, you can miss your destiny. I knew it was time to start this church because I understand time. And therefore, no matter where you are, leave your job. When it's time, it's time. Because God had ordained for you to operate in the realm of divine design, which is time. Somebody say time. Don't put it off because you don't have money. You're never going to have enough money. But you got to know with time on my side, the Lord is going to work it out. Somebody say, time on my side. The Lord's going to work it out. It's a big clock. And don't dishonor and disrespect time, but just march ahead to the beat of God's time in your life. God says in Genesis 1 that it is good for mankind and the earth realm to operate in time, in season, in cycles. And you have to know Proverbs 8, 29 says, when he gave the sea its boundaries so that the waters would not overstep his command. And he marked out the foundations of the earth. He told the ocean, you could only come this far. Growing up on the, on, on the shore of Fort Lauderdale, Florida as a kid, we would go to the sea. They'd go out to the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, and the waves would come in and they would slap against the shore. But then they would bounce back. Because God had designed that you can only come this far. 
and just know if he designed that you, the, the ocean can only come this far, he has designed your life so that you can live with favor. Somebody say favor. Somebody say favor. Somebody say favor. He marked off the time for mankind and we cannot exceed his limits. No matter who you are, your time is running out. And we must always be aware of time. The old song says, my life is in your hand. God has set boundaries that we cannot exceed. So while I'm here today, I'm just going to give the Lord praise. While I'm here today, I'm just going to clap my hands. While I'm here today, I'm just going to stomp my feet. While I'm here today, I'm just going to shout for joy. Don't tell me to be quiet. Don't tell me to calm down. Because tomorrow is not promised. Raise your hand on me and say, Lord. Come on, set your elbow all the way. Everybody help me out. Say, Lord. Let time be on my side. To redeem time, as Paul told us. To redeem time. It means to own it. Own that this is your time. It means to control it to the best of your ability. To not let it slip away and don't waste it. To redeem times mean that you make up for what you have foolishly thrown away. To get back the time you lost just living your own life. Redeem the time. Elbow your neighbor, say neighbor. Redeem your time. It means to repossess or reclaim the hours that you foolishly thrown away. The time that you wasted on doing nothing. Redeem the time to fulfill a pledge. To redeem the times means that we fulfill or pay an outstanding debt to God or to mankind when we redeem the time. To deliver on a commitment of integrity that we'll pay it back that we will honor our debt and that we will honor the Lord and that we would be people that understand time. Somebody say time. time. Don't live your life off the cuff. Live by divine design. Live, I've always lived my life by divine design because I heard the old ladies in the church say, baby, you got to pray that the Lord let time be on your side. I'll never forget it. And from that moment forward, I began to understand time. So I left jobs because my time was up. And I knew that I was going somewhere. And that you can't let a job hold you down. Because what God has for you is bigger than a job. Somebody said, let time be on my side. If you wasted five years, you have a debt to yourself and to God. Pay it back. Somebody said, let time be on my side. Prison is all about time. The judge declare his gavel. You will spend eight years behind bars. Time becomes a dictator. Time becomes an enemy. And you owe society time for the crime. And the old saying, if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Somebody say time. Somebody say time. And so every day, we must capture the moments. Every day, we must maximize the minutes. Every day, we must pray and ask God for help. Somebody say help. Somebody say help. God designed time for you and I. How do we redeem time in life? Two ways. I only have time for two points, but there's more than two. The Bible says in Job 14 and verse number five, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. In other words, God's got, a got your name on his timepiece. You are here for a certain amount of time. And so we must maximize it. And we must redeem it. Every day. And we must thank God. 
for the time that we have. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. I'm still here. Come on, stay with me now because as you get older, time is going to become valuable to you. Number one, how do we redeem time? Number one, God restore the years. Oh, God, you can't restore your years, but God restore the years. He says in Joel 2.25, and I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm. He said, I'll restore the years. God said, I'll give you back time that you lost. I'll give you back the time that you foolishly threw away. I'll give you back the time that, that you allowed the enemy to steal from your life. Spend your time praising the Lord. Spend your time worshiping the Lord. Spend your time reading God's word. Spend your time worshiping the Lord and he'll give you more time. He said, I'll give you a long life. Longevity has its place. Pray to the Lord every day and he will make up the time that you have foolishly thrown away. Anybody here know that some time you wasted? Don't raise your hand. Don't raise your hand. Ephesians 5, 16 says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. When you were clubbing, that was just wasted time. What did you get out of it? You didn't even get no fun out of it. You, you lost your money out of it. You know, you, you didn't get nothing out. It was just a waste of time. Some people got a DUI out of that club. Not only that, some people got a fight out of that club. They got a charge out of that club. Wasted time. Lord, let time be on my side. Somebody say, Lord, let time be on my side. See, you got to watch out for time stealers. There are some time stealers in life. You got to watch out for them. You got to watch out for them. Hanging out, doing nothing is a time stealer. Watching a whole football game for hours is a time stealer. So when I watch the football game, I get up in the commercials and I get my steps in. And every commercial, I don't let them steal my time. I get something out of it. I get my 10,000 steps in. So by the end of the day, I got my 10,000 steps in. Otherwise, the game will steal your time. Watching horrible movies is a time stealer. You know, playing video games. Some guys play video games all day. It's a time stealer. Playing games on your tablet. Playing games on your cell phone. Yeah, watching, you know, Instagram and, you know, and TikTok and, and all the other stuff. It's a time stealer. Living and doing nothing. Maximize your, you are where you are. Don't blame the white man. Don't blame the black man, the red man, the brown man, the yellow man. Blame yourself on how you spent your time. Elbow your neighbor. Say, neighbor, let time be on my side. Raise your head all over the house and let's pray it all over the house. Everybody say, Lord, let time be on my side. And you have to know that you have to maximize your time. So when I get home today, I will go and waste some time. I'll tell you all up front. I go in what I call the nothing box. My wife said, what are you doing? Nothing. What are you going to do later on? Nothing. I'm in the nothing box. But I'll get up and I'll make up for it by saying, Lord, I spent two hours in the nothing box. Now help me to make up for it. Anybody got a nothing box? We need a nothing box to be healthy. If you think all the time, if you're always doing something, then you get anxiety, you get depressed, you get discouraged. But you have to make sure that you redeem that time. From the nothing but how do we redeem them time? Number one, God, what? God will restore the year back to your lady. Maybe you messed it up in the early years of your life. But God will give you that time back if you'll obey him and serve him 
and bless him and worship him. Job said, our days are set. Our number of the days are determined. And we, God has set bounds that we cannot exceed. But if he gives us more time, you'll be amazed at how far the Lord will take you. I can name on one hand, one hand in being in ministry full time for over 27 years. How many people I've buried over 95 years old? I can name on one hand how many people I've buried that lived over 95 years. People are dying young. Don't put it off and think that you have time. Don't say I'll wait another year. You might not have another year. People are dying young. The young lady in her 30s laid there dead. The young boy wasn't even 20 years old, dead. Somebody say amen. The teenager that was a reckless girl, dead, wouldn't listen to mom and dad. Lost her life. Hanging out with kids that drag racing cars. Tomorrow is not promised. So you got to celebrate today. The Bible says this is the day that the Lord has made. And I'm on what? Rejoice. And be glad in it. Stretch your elbow up and say, Lord, let time be on my side. Say it one more time. Say, Lord, let time be on my side. How do we redeem the time? God has to restore the years that you foolishly threw away. That you recklessly just squandered away. And you have to know. He says, the locusts came and ate them up. The Bible, the Bible says that locust is mentioned over 30 times. That devastation of supernatural increase that came into your life. How many know the Lord blessed you and you foolishly threw it away? The canker worm sucks the hope out of your life. The caterpillar just consume all that you're trying to build. All that you're trying to maintain. The palmer worm. The palmer worm was the devourer. God says I'll restore it back to you. All that they have taken out of your life, if you serve me. These are the true stealers of your time. And then sometimes we are the stealers of our own time. And we wake up and realize, man, where has my life gone? Lady, you know, the guy was dating a lady and he said, Pastor, I can't date her. Her time, her clock is ticking. She want to get married in 30 days. So I, I got to slow it down. Number one, how do we redeem the time? God has to what? Restore the years. Get it, saints. Don't look at other people and how they live. You just stay on course. And stay on path. And follow the Lord. Don't look around on Instagram what other people are doing. And TikTok. You know what's good for you. Stay the course. Somebody say stay the course. Don't pay attention to the Joneses or, or the Browns or the Greens or the Yellows or the Purpose. You just stay the course. Just keep walking day by day. Give me this day our what? Daily bread. Just march ahead. Somebody say march ahead. How do we redeem the time? Number one, God restores what? The years that the canker worm. Palmer worm has stolen. Number two. And I close with number two. How do we restore? How do, how, do we, how do we redeem the time? God adds time to our lives. How do we redeem the time? Number one, God store, restores the years. And number two, God what? God adds time. Hezekiah and Isaiah chapter 38. God came to Hezekiah and told him, Hezekiah, get your house in order. In other words, set your affairs, your will, your trust, whatever you are, whatever you have, get it in order. God says you are about to die. That's something you never want to hear. When the Lord says you're about to die. You don't want to hear when the Lord says you're about to die. That's the final. 
He said, get your house in order. You're about to die. See, you got to know the Lord. Isaiah 38, 1 through 5. You got to know the Lord. And God will add time to your life. You don't have to die at 70. You don't have to die at 65. You don't have to die at 55. All you have to do is put the Lord first in your life. Number one, God restored, redeemed the time. He, add, he restores the years. Somebody say, thank you for all the years. And number two, God adds time to your life. He gave all of us, he gave all of us time to live and to serve him. Spend your time serving the Lord. Don't just retire, refire. Find something to do. If you retired, you ought to be doing something for the Lord. I know people that retired and within two years they were dead. But I know people that retired and start doing something for the Lord. Join the prayer ministry here at Emmanuel. Get involved in the children's church. Sing in the choir. Be an usher. You're spending your time serving the Lord. Be a volunteer in the food bank. Help out in the youth. And when you spend your time serving the Lord, he'll give you more of his time. That's how we redeem our time. Serve the Lord. Somebody say, serve the Lord. I know men that retired and did nothing but watch games and watch TV all day, and within three years they were dead. Got to do something for the Lord. Somebody said, do something for the Lord. God will extend your days, church. God will extend your days and your hours, your weeks, your months, and your decades. The Lord will see you working for him. You are working in the food bank. You're helping out. You are wiping the snotty nose of kids. You're helping out. You are helping out with our teenagers. You are helping out. You're helping out as an usher. You're helping out. You're helping out as a greeter, serving the Lord. And God says, okay, you are serving me. So you were scheduled to die at 72. But I'm going to give you two more years. Amen. Amen. Well, he might say, you were scheduled to die at 65. Soon as you retire, you're dying. Then he said, because you are serving me, because you are building my kingdom, because you are giving your time, because you are helping to win the loss, because you are doing something productive, I'm going to add to your life. Time. Somebody say time. See, God will add to your life, church. Don't just sit home and do nothing. Do something for the Lord. As long as I got health and strength. As long as I got a sound mind. As long as I got uh, my legs to walk on. I'm going to find a way. To get to God's house and just tell him thank you for all your help. Somebody say, Lord, let time be on my side. You are not supposed to die early. You are not supposed to die before your time. You are not supposed to die out of your time zone. The Lord holds time in the palm of his head. And you are, somebody say, oh. Still here. Somebody say, oh, still here. See, the Hezekiah was dying. Isaiah 38. And then the Bible said, the Lord said to him in verse 1, set your house in order. For thou shalt die and not live. Then Hezekiah turned his face to the wall, verse number 2. And prayed unto the Lord. Yes, sir. I believe prayer will extend your life. Yes, it, will. it extended this man's life. You, you can be silent in prayer if you want. I'm going to be on the prayer line every day saying, Lord, I need your help. Right. I'm going to find a reason every day to pray. Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed, verse number three. And he said, remember, O Lord, I beseech thee how I walk before thee. Not only that, in truth and with a perfect heart. And I have done that which was good in your sight. 
And Hezekiah humbled himself. And the Bible says he wept sore with a broken heart. And then the word of the Lord came to Isaiah. And Isaiah was leaving his room. And he said, turn around. Go back into Hezekiah's room and tell him that I'm going to add some more time to his life. The Bible says, verse number four, then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah saying, go say to Hezekiah, thus says the Lord God of David, thy father, I have heard your prayer. You can be silent if you want. I'm going to pray. And I just want to be, I, I've gotten older now, and I just want to be around somebody that know how to pray. I want to be around a church that know how to pray. I want to be around some men that's not ashamed to pray. I want to be around some women that cry out. I want to be around a church that say, Lord, I need your help. Somebody shout, help. You can't be silent. You can't hold your peace. Your life is at stake. The Bible says, he said, tell Hezekiah, I've heard your prayer. And I've seen your tears and your humility before me. Behold, Hezekiah, I will add unto your days 15 more years. Some of you are planning to die next month. Some of you are planning to die next year. But you need to pray and say, Lord, add to my life. You need to cancel the funeral. Make your will, yes. Lay out your trust, yes. Lay out your funeral plans, yes. But that's for another time way down the road. I'm here to live. And I'm going to declare, the Lord is on my side. I'm going to declare, I have favor. I'm going to declare every day, I need your help. I'm going to declare, if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, I would have never made it. But I'm so glad that the Lord gave me time. I'm so glad the Lord blessed my life. I'm so glad the Lord gave us strength. You are here. Because the Lord added time. You are here because the Lord blessed your life. So I come to give him praise. I come to bless his name. I come to clap my hands. You don't have to clap my hands. You don't have to clap your hands. You don't have to stomp your feet. You can just sit there. But the Lord has blessed my life. I owe him a praise. Anybody here owe the Lord a praise? Anybody in the house? Know the Lord extended your life. The surgery could have taken you out. The cancer could have taken you out. The car wreck could have taken you out. But you are still here. Somebody say, oh, still here. Prison could have killed you. But the Lord blessed your life. While I'm alive, I'm going to praise him. While I'm alive, I'm going to serve him. While I'm alive, I'm going to walk before the Lord with a humble heart. While I'm alive, I am going to worship the Lord. Somebody say, I am blessed. Live. Elbow your neighbor said, Live. Elbow the person on the other side said, Live. The Lord is on your side. Live. Keep on living. Live in January. Live in February, live in March, live in April, live all through May, live in June, live in July, live in August, live in September, live in October, all year long. Keep on living. The Lord is on my side. The grave, give him no praise. Can I preach it the way I feel it? The grave. Give him no praise. The undertaker will have to be taken under. The grave, give him no praise. The funeral director will have to have his funeral directed. 
the grave. Give him no praise. The embalmer will have to be embalmed one day. While I'm alive, I'm going to give him praise. While I'm here, I'm going to call on the Lord. I just need a few people. I just need a few men. I just need a few women that will cry out. Help. Somebody shout help. Somebody shout help. The horse driver will one day become the horse rider. While I'm alive, I'm going to give him praise. One of these old days. One of these old days. One of these old days. The grave digger will have to have his grave done. One of these old days. One of these old days. I'm going to give him praise while I'm alive. I'm going to clap my hands. I'm going to stomp my feet. I'm going to leap for joy. I'm still here. Somebody stretch your hand up and say, I'm still here. Take authority over sickness. Take authority over cancer. Take authority over high blood pressure. Take authority over diabetes. Somebody say, I'm still here. Come on, say it again. I'm still here. They said you wasn't going to make it. They said you wasn't going to last. They said you wasn't going to make it. But the Lord is on my side. Somebody say, I'm still here while I'm alive. I'm going to give him praise while I'm alive. I'm going to worship the Lord while I'm alive. I'm going to pray every day. Let time be on my side. Somebody say, Lord, let time be on my side. One more time. Lord, let time be on my side. You are still here. Somebody say, I am still here. In Jesus' name I pray. Give the Lord a hand clap. If you're alive, if you're online, if you're here, give the Lord a hand clap. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody say, I am still here. Stretch your elbow all the way up. Stretch your elbow all the way up. Stretch your elbow all the way up. Stretch your elbow all the way up and say, Lord, thank you for letting me live one more day. Somebody say, Lord, let time be on my side. Say it one more time. Say, Lord, I declare I will honor, I will respect, and I will thank you for every day of my life. This is a day the Lord has made. Come on, speak over yourself. Say, this is a day the Lord has made. Everybody say, Lord, thank you for one more day. Say it again. Thank you for one more day. I am blessed. Say it again. I am blessed. One more time. Say, I am blessed. One more day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We redeem the time because you give us more time. We thank you. We redeem the years because you give us one more year. Somebody say one more year. Somebody say one more decade. Somebody say one more year. Thank you, Lord, for all your blessings. Somebody say, I am blessed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for all your blessings. Don't take it for granted. You are still here. We all went to funerals during COVID. But God brought us to another year. Somebody say, I am blessed. Stretch your elbow all the way up and say, Lord, I declare your anointing upon my life. I am blessed. Say it one more time. Say, Lord, I declare your anointing upon my life. I am Bless. Come on, say it again. Say, Lord, I declare your anointing upon my life. This is a day the Lord has made. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. We break every curse that will steal our time. 
Say with me, break every curse. Break every curse that will steal our time. The blood. Somebody say the blood. The blood of Jesus over our lives today. Thank you for one more year. Somebody say thank you for one more year. For one more year. God said to Hezekiah, I'm going to add 15. 15 more years. I'm going to add 15. Somebody say, Lord, add to my life. I'll add 15 more years. For those of you that know that you escaped death and that you know that it was the Lord that blessed you and those of you that know that God slid you into 2024 and you want to say thank you, just come and join with me at the altar. I just want to say thank you. I barely made it. But I'm still here. Thank you. The car wreck could have taken you out. The surgery could have taken you out. You. Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. I. I. Thank you, Lord. Come on, it's going to be tight. Come on in closer. We just want to say thank you. Church, never get to the place to where you think you made it on your own. I know I didn't make it on my own. I never had a dad to teach me to tie a tie. God put godly men in the church in my life. Never had a father to teach me how to drive a car. God put people in my life to help me. Thank you, Lord. I. Let us all say it together. Thank you, Lord. Every heart. Thank you, Lord. Oh, come on. Help me say it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. 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 Lord. One more year. Hey, thank you. I, I, you. Say it again. Thank you, Lord. One more time. Thank every heart. Every heart. Every heart. Every heart. Thank you, Lord. That cancer could have taken you out. Thank you. The blood pressure could have caused you a stroke. Yeah, thank you, Lord. The surgery. You couldn't have to wake up. But the Lord woke you up. We got to do it one more time. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. We don't take it for granted. You extended our lives. Thank you. Hey. Every heart. Thank you, Lord. Our heart's beating. Man. A heart attack could have taken us out. But we are still here. Ah. Heavy heart. Say it again, say it again. I just one more time. You love. Lay your hand on somebody's shoulder. Lay your hand on somebody's shoulder. We're not an accident. We're not a mishap. He says in Jeremiah 1 5, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. I had a plan for you. We're not an accident. We're on God's timetable. God has allowed us to live as a church for 19 years. He paid every bill. Nobody in Denver can say we owe him a penny. So I want to say thank you. 
but we're on his timetable. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. Churches all around us closed, but we're still here. Somebody say, I'm still here. Say it with authority, I'm still here. People in your neighborhood died, but you are still here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't you dare walk in pride. Don't you dare walk in arrogance. We walk in humility like Hezekiah. And we humble our lives. And we say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for another day. Thank you. Thank you for another year. Thank you. Thank you for another week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just glad to be here. I'm just glad to be here. The Lord has been good. Thank you. Father, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. For allowing us to live one more year. Thank you for blessing our families, for blessing our children. We come to this altar just to say thank you. We kneel just to say thank you. We humble our hearts just to say thank you. COVID could have taken us out. The car wreck could have killed us. Oh! But you extended our lives. Thank you. The grave digger could have dug our grave. The embalmer could have embalmed us. The hearse driver could have drove us as a hearse rider. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for these men and women of Emmanuel Christian Center. Thank you for these families. Thank you for every man. Thank you for every lady. Give us grateful hearts. We declare this is my year. Somebody say, this is my year. Say it again, this is my year. One more time, this is my year. Thank you for the anointing. All year long. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for allowing me to preach to these wonderful people. 19 years. Thank you. Thank you for taking care of us. We want to say thank you. We take no pride. We take no arrogance. But we just declare, we humble our hearts. And we say, the Lord is on our side. And if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, we would have never made it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For the hands that I lay my shoulder in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Hands on the shoulders that I lay on. Thank you. Bless their lives. Somebody say, Lord, bless them. Say it again. Say, Lord, extend their lives. Come on, say it again. Say, Lord, thank you for all your help. We are blessed. Say it again. I am blessed. One more time. I am blessed. Say it again. I am blessed. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you. Man. You, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Every heart. Thank you, Lord. I say it again. I just want to thank one more time. I just want to you, Lord. Father, we love you. Appreciate you. We're grateful for all your blessings. We're reminded of your goodness in our lives. Thank you for helping us. Thank you for blessing our families. Thank you for blessing our children. Thank you for our church home. Thank you for Jesus who died for us 
on an old rugged cross, on a hill called Calvary. There he died. Today we want to say thank you. We appreciate all your blessings in our lives. Break every curse. Somebody said, break the curse. Break the curse. Break the curse. Break the curse of time stealers. Break the curse. Break the curse. In the name of Jesus. Break the curse of hereditary spirits. Break the curse. Come on, everybody say, Lord, the blood. One more time. Lord, the blood. The blood of Jesus over our lives today. In Jesus' name I pray. Somebody say amen. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap for his goodness. Thank you for coming to the altar. Thank you for telling God. Thank you for one more year. We are blessed. Somebody say, I am blessed. If you need extra prayer, Minister Nikki and her team is here. They will pray with you. It's okay to pray and just tell God thank you. It's okay. It's okay to worship the Lord and the beauty of holiness and just say thank you for letting me live. Don't walk in pride. Just be glad you made it. Somebody say, I'm glad I made it. One more year. Deuteronomy 11 and verse number 11 says that from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, somebody say all year long, the Lord will bless your life. Somebody say all year long. Say it again, all year long. All year long. You got somebody in your life that need to be saved? Raise your hands with me at this time and let's just ask the Lord to save them. Somebody say save them. Speak over their lives. Somebody say save them. Somebody say save them. Shut your elbow all the way up and say Lord save the unsaved save the unsaved say it again say lord save the unsaved in the name of jesus thank you for salvation in their lives acts 4 12 neither is there salvation in any other name but the name of jesus there's no other name no other name whereby men and women must be saved but the name of jesus somebody say jesus and when you put, make him Lord of your life, he will bless your life. Somebody say, I am blessed. Say it one more time, I am blessed. One more time, I am blessed. I'm still here. Somebody say, I'm still here. Stretch your elbow all over and say, I'm still here. Oh, somebody say, I'm still here. Stretch your elbow all the way up and say, I'm still here. The Bible says there's a great cloud of witnesses in heaven watching us. Set your elbow all the way up and say, I'm still here doing the will of the Lord. I am still here. Set your elbow all the way up and say, I am still here. In Jesus' name I pray. You may be seated in the house of the Lord. God is a good God. He loves you and everything is going to be all right. The Bible says in, in Luke 6, uh, give and it shall be given unto you. What? Good measure. What? Pressed down and shaken together. Running over shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure you meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. Sacrifice to the Lord. God will move in your life and he will bless you. He gave us the ultimate sacrifice, his only begotten son, who died on an old rugged cross on a hill called Calvary. Somebody say amen. Right now, over on that hill, they're fighting. In Israel, they're fighting. But just know Jesus died that we might have a right to the tree of life. And he wants you to know that he died for you and he loves you. And God says in Jeremiah 1, 5, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. And follow the Lord. Don't follow men. Follow the Lord. And the Lord will bless your life. But God will bless you and take care of you financially. He'll take care of you. And we declare at Emmanuel Christian Center, no bill shall live in my life. Just raise your hand and let's say it together. If, if you don't believe it, don't raise your hands. But if you believe it, now raise your hand. Say, I declare, I declare no, bill no bill shall live no bill. in my life. I am, I am blessed. blessed. Over $600,000 have God paid the bill of people here. Baco alone was what, 200,000 Baco? Where you at? 200,000, God paid the bill. The lady that's not here today, that sit on the front row, 
$50,000. He paid the bill of a medical bill. That's two fifty. dollars Paid the bill $100,000 in the student loans that I had for my son. Went to engineering school. That's three fifty. dollars And I can go on and on, but I don't want to put your business in the street. But you have to understand, you sacrifice to the Lord, and God will pay the bill. Somebody said, no bill can live in my life. The Lord is on my side. Say it again. I am blessed. The Bible says, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, shake, press, press down, shaken together and running over. That you give and the Lord will bless your life. Somebody say amen. amen. And God looks out for you. He'll take care of you. He touched a man's heart all the way in Canada. He told his real estate agent, sell that pastor these two units that you're sitting in. And we paid for them, debt free. Now we had to pay for our build out. But I want you to know. Don't play games with God. If you're going to give, give. If you're not going to give, don't give. But I want you to know God will bless your life. Amen. He'll bless your life. Man, he'll help you. He'll take care of you. And he'll strengthen you day by day. Amen. Somebody say, I am blessed. I am blessed. Say it again, I am blessed. Bless. Jesus teaching his disciples a lesson in Matthew chapter 6, verse 26. You've heard it before. He said, consider the fowl of the air. Behold the fowl of the air. How they sow not, neither do they reap. But yet your heavenly Father, what? Feedeth them. How many of you have been, ever been in U.S. Bank standing behind a bird with a briefcase? How many of you have been in King Supers standing behind a bird pushing a basket? God feed the birds. Asia, Africa, Antarctica, and Australia on all seven continents. Europe, North America, and South America. He feed the birds. No one man can take credit for it. So if God feed the birds on all seven continents, I know he can take care of your $1,500, $2,000 a month mortgage. Oh, ye of little faith. So I made up my mind, I'm going to tie. Because he says that I rebuke the devourer, the devourer, the palmer worm, the canker worm that eats up the blessings of the Lord in your life. I made up my mind I'm going to be a tither. And God has blessed our lives. Somebody say I am blessed. Let's just come forward give everybody a number. Everybody give something today because you say I'm going to sacrifice to the Lord and I'm going to honor his word that he feed the birds. So I know he's going to take care of me. He's going to take care of me. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is going to take care of you. You're making out a check, make it payable to Emmanuel Christian Center or ECC. You get record for your giving, but not only that, God's going to take care of you. No bill can live. And when the devil attacks your body, God's going to take care of you. Because it's not your time. I'm going to put you on the spot again. Come here. When cancer attacked your body we declared everything's going to be alright we prayed God can do. no secret what God can do and God said it's not your time cancer go back to the pit of hell and you're still singing in the choir today don't tell me that God's not real play games if you want I got a witness right here had cancer today cancer free and God paid the bill somebody say I am blessed you are too old for games you are too old to play politics you know the Lord serve him I'll bless your bread I'll bless your water and I'll take sickness away from the midst of you somebody say amen if you're given God is a good God. Stand up with me and let's give to the Lord. Not as a debt we owe, but as a seed we sow. Sowing in the good ground because we know it's God's kingdom. And the Lord has given us more time. Stretch your elbow all the way up me and everybody say, Lord, I give into your kingdom. I'm going forward in every area of my life. I'll say it again. Say, Lord, I give into your kingdom. 
I'm going forward in every area of my life. Thank you. That time is on my side. Say it again. Thank you. That time is on my side. Thank you. You'll restore the years. Thank you. You'll add years to my life. I give into your kingdom. I'm going forward in every area of my life. If you're given today, come and lay it on the altar as an act of faith. Somebody say bless, 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 say I'm blessed, say you're blessed, say we're blessed, say everybody's blessed, say I'm blessed, say you're blessed, say we're blessed, we're blessed, we're blessed, we're blessed now say. It's gonna work. Say it. Say it late. God's gone. It's gonna work. Say it. Say it late. God's gone. Hey, and around, 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 and around. You are blessed. Set your elbow all the way up and let's pray. We we stretch the re, the little boy asked me, Pastor, why you always have us stretch our hands up? Because we are kids. And we said, Lord, hold my hand lest I fall. Stretch your elbow all the way up. As Elder William Harris come and pronounce the blessings over our lives. Stretch your elbow all the way up and everybody say with me, say, Lord, I declare your blessing over my life. Say it again. Say, Lord, I declare your blessing over my life. Thank you for another year. Thank you that time 
is on my side. Would you give the Lord a hand clap for Pastor Greg McDonald's who stopped by to visit us today. Bless you, Pastor Greg. God bless you, sir. God loves you. I, I look forward to seeing you in church on Wednesday night. Wednesday morning, warriors, God wants to do something special in our lives. Let's go forward. Elbow your neighbor and say, let's go forward. Let's go forward. You alive? Let's get the job. What? Done. Elder William Harris. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, speak unto Aaron and unto his sons, saying, on this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name yes. upon the children of Israel and upon you, the saints and the sons and daughters of Emmanuel. And I will bless them. Father, it is your will that we be blessed. It is your will that we be blessed. It is your will that we live above and not beneath. That we are the head and not the tail. It is your will that we redeem the time in our lives. Lord, that you will restore the years that were stolen from our lives. Lord, that you will add years to our life. Longevity to our life. We declare out of our mouth that time is on our side and we thank you for giving us time in your house today now god protect us as we leave this place as we go our various ways our homes our jobs wherever we go today lord let your protection and your hedge be around us and we will forever give you praise and glory and honor for time that's on our side in Jesus' name. And everybody said amen. Say thank you, Lord. Say thank you, Lord. Say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hey, say thank you, Lord. Say thank you. Thank you for tuning in to the Emmanuel Christian Center live stream. You have a blessed week in Jesus' name. God bless. Thank you, Lord.